a proposal on the table right now in St. Landry Parish to revitalize Donald Gardner Stadium in Opelousas. The project would be funded by the Downtown Development District and the St. Landry Parish School Board. Revitalization sounds good to many, but for others, it comes down to dollars and cents. It's going to be what they call the state-of-the-art stadium for track, for uh, soccer, volleyball, and of course football. We don't have a track that can hold a certified track meet in the parish of St. Landry, not Opelousas, in the parish. So this is just a way of the school board and the city and the DDD coming together to provide something for our kids. Opelousas Downtown Development District Chairperson Lena Charles and board member Patrick Fontenot say this proposal also goes beyond athletics. This project will help keep some of our young men and women in school and proud to be in school. Here's a breakdown of the proposal. The DDD will put up $1 million for this project, as will the St. Landry Parish School Board, but neither will write a $1 million check to get it done. According to the DDD, each entity will pay around $11,000 a month for the next eight years, equaling close to the roughly $2 million price tag. But some question, for a school district with so many needs, is spending $11,000 a month the best use of money? Show me the budget. Show me where the money is. School board member Joyce Haynes says the board recently decided to hold off on voting on this issue. She says they're waiting on a budget breakdown from the superintendent and a clearer understanding from the DDD on the ins and outs of the contract. However, she does say if the money is right, this is the right time to get this done. When it comes to the monies, we have an opportunity because we have other monies coming in that's strictly about academics. It makes a difference when it comes to sports and academics because some of our children excel with one and maybe not the other, and you have to do one in order to get to the other. And some of them love books, we need a library. Some of them love sports, we need a complex. This is just the start of something that will be beneficial to our children and to the community because if it goes as planned, economic impact will be seen because of the activities we'll be able to have at that venue. And maybe the first catalyst to developing the economic structure we want. The school board is set to make a decision on this proposal at next Monday's meeting. Also, to be totally transparent, the DDD board member interviewed for this story is my father. We want to be fully open about it should it come into question.